Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are doing a comparison over the two special edition versions of the Steve McQueen 714. Uh, so the pair here to my right is the 24 karat gold plated lenses, which is now discontinued. And then the pair here to my left is the wildly popular uh, platinum edition, which is still in production as of filming this video. Now, if you're interested in picking up a pair of these sunglasses for yourselves, you can do so on our website for a substantial discount off the original MSRP, which is $737 directly on Purse's website. And of course, the gold ones are now discontinued, so you can't even really find these on eBay. I think there's like one selling for like $4,000. Uh, and then the platinum are a little bit cheaper on eBay, but again, I would never buy a pair of sunglasses on eBay. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, pop on the gold plated ones. Uh, we have these you used on our website for $500, uh, so about $200 off the MSRP here. And again, these are very, very hard to get your hands on as well. I do want to mention that these look really, really cool. They have this beautiful 24 karat gold plated lenses and they're actually very scratch resistant as well. Uh, like I said, this pair is used. I've been wearing these for a while now and I don't really see any scratching or anything like that on the lenses. Now let me go ahead and pop on uh, this pair of uh, personal Platinum Steve McQueen, uh, which are completely brand new. This is the first time I've ever put them on my face is for this video. We have a bunch of these available in stock on our website for somewhere around $350. So a huge substantial discount off the original MSRP on these. And again, these are brand new where the gold pair is used and doesn't come with the original box and paperwork like the Platinum does. Uh, now, as far as my personal preference here goes, uh, both these look really, really good on face. Uh, I do love the gold. I think they just pop a little bit more than the platinum do, uh, but the platinum look really clean as well. Uh, the gold offer a little bit more richer and warmer colors where the platinum offer a little bit more cooler colors when looking through them. Both these frames have category three non-polarized lenses, so you cannot get these with a polarized lens. And I'll personally, again, I do prefer non-polarized lenses, and we're gonna get into that in another video here relatively soon. Uh, but as far as the build quality and the styling and the looks, they are absolutely identical other than the lens, of course. Uh, let me know which pair you think looks better in the comment section down below. I'm definitely very interested to know. Again, this pair right here, uh, to my right is the gold plated and then here to my left is the platinum uh, but both of these are really special and I imagine the platinum are probably going to be discontinued here relatively soon because these frames have been out for a couple of years now. So definitely go ahead and pick up a pair while you still can. And uh, yeah, both of these are made in Italy. Both quality is exactly the same. Now, of course, both these frames fold up, uh, which is pretty cool here. So they're just gonna fold up and they can easily fit in your uh, top pocket once they are folded up, which is pretty cool. And they also both have the personal effect of stem system, so they're going to bend out and give a custom fit to the face. Now, as far as looks go, I love the looks of the Persil 714 Steam McQueen. I think they are one of the absolute best looking uh, pairs of sunglasses out there. Just super, super classy and nice. They're definitely very bold and heavy because they do have all glass lenses. So both the platinum and the 24 karat gold frames are all glass lenses, and they're definitely going to be a little bit heavy if you wear these for, you know, more than five hours, I would say. Uh, you're definitely going to uh, find yourself lifting the frames up and then kind of rubbing your nose uh, where you're gonna see a little bit of red marks uh, there. Uh, but that's definitely a price I'm willing to pay for the styling of these frames. 